Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today uh, I'll be covering campaigns, uh, which is a very important topic. Uh, campaigns are very handy for marketing people. Um, uh, can be used by sales team as well. Um, so uh, let me give you a perspective, uh, a context before I dive into our Salesforce campaign. Um, I have uh, logged into an org, which is a, um, a free org, but I named my company as Wilson Brewery. So obviously you can figure out from the name, right? The job of a brewery is to brew a beer. So let's assume that Wilson Brewery has decided to uh, market its newly um, created uh, or brewed uh, stout um, with the hint of vanilla and other flavors um, and with an alcohol content of 7.8%, right? So the main uh, interest uh, the main um, intention uh, of Wilson Brewery is to market uh, this particular stout to an existing customer as well as to attract the newly uh, potential leads, right? So that's the main interest of this, uh, the, this marketing campaign. So brewery, main job is to brew beers, right? So every time when a brewery launches a new product, obviously they have to market the product, right? Otherwise, how will the rest of the customer or consumer will know that, oh, there is a new beer out there, right? So that's the main purpose of the marketing campaign in this perspective. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into the, the campaign um, module here. So the way you do here, uh, so you're gonna go into this uh, Tic Tac uh, toe icon here, right? On the left-hand corner. So click here and search for campaign. So, it will take you to um, a campaign page. So right now we don't have anything recently viewed because I haven't created anything here, right? So there are three options here, my active campaign and all active campaigns. So let's go to active campaigns. So these are the dummy data that Salesforce gives you. So which is, uh, you know, here you can see that the campaign has been uh, expired already, but it still shows active, but yeah, whatever. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to create a, um, a new campaign. So the new campaign is to advertise uh, Wilson Breweries, newly created, uh, newly in invented, brewed uh, by Brewmaster, um, the latest uh, stout, right? So let's create a new campaign. So the way you create a new campaign is by going to new button here. Um, and so you can uh, create a campaign name. Um, so greatest uh, s uh, s stout ever, right? Um, type is, um, so we can do this advertisement, right? And status as uh, planned, we can say that start date, let's say I'll keep the start date from um, last Monday and end date campaign will be, let's say, May, 31st of May, right? Okay. Um, expected revenue, let's say 100,000. We copy the same. We just keep it the default to uh, make it simple. All right. Uh, I don't want it to do anything here. I'll just click on save. Right. So our campaign, the greatest start ever, has been created. Now, you can see that we have a campaign history attachment. You can attach file. Campaign history, like if you have a... Um, different multiple campaigns that link to each other like we have parent child kind of stuff i'll show you i will link this to an uh, existing uh, campaign to to give you a context how it looks like um, opportunities it's it's when we talk about opportunities it's it's an opportunity that uh, get generated out of this campaign and campaign members can be you can add an existing lead or you can add a newly lead or you can add an existing contact so let's say um we have this campaign out in the market, right? So uh, someone contacted us uh, saying, look, uh, I heard about this newly launched, uh, uh, it's 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 like a, in software terms, you can call it the beta version, right? So it's in beer world, you can say a pre-launch, something like that, uh, you know. Uh, so we are inviting customers to uh, to do a beer testing to see if they like it. And based on the feedback, we will, uh, do a uh, bulk produce, right? Uh, 
Um, so that's the main idea behind this campaign to get the feedback from a customer to see what they think about this new product in the market right uh, and this is something we have been done before this is uh, a brand new idea we added vanilla we added extra chocolate a uh, different kind of Swiss chocolates we used in um, you get the point, right? The, with the way you make a stout. If you're a beer lover like me, you know, we can do a lot of stuff with the stout, right? Stout and porter. So, okay. So let's stick to the uh, campaign. Sorry, I digress. Um, so campaign member, right? So one of the uh, potentially uh, contacted us through uh, phone and said, oh, look, I heard about this advertisement. Uh, I would like to know more about this. Could you send me a beer sample for testing, right? So... Let's say his name is uh, something called uh, 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 Victor uh, Markovic, right? Uh, someone from uh, a guy who lives in uh, uh, Dunedin, um, in New Zealand. So he newly moved to um, um, to New Zealand. A, 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 I mean, a year ago, and he started his own uh, pub, right, in Dunedin. So he's looking for a new beer so that to attract the customers, right? So uh, the Victor Markovic so called us and said, look, we are interested in this product, so could you send us the uh, sample, right? So we don't have him in this syst in our system. Let's see if we have one. So what we're going to do, we're going to add him as a lead campaign member. So we add him as a lead. Uh, so let's see if we have an anyone called Victor. Uh, we... Let's see if we have any Victor. We got none. So we, what we're going to do, we're going to create a... Uh, new lead uh, so we gonna do uh, okay sorry uh, sometimes there's a glitch here right so we're gonna go to new lead um, and we are gonna put his name mr. Uh, Victor Mar Marco so Victor, Victor Markovic, company, uh, sorry, Maverick something, Maverick, uh, Maverick pub, right? So we just wanted to keep our basic information and safe. And so we going to add him to... Right, the member data. this is normally used for email marketing. So for now, we just keep it as responded, right? And we add it here. You'll see a difference. You see, there is a chart, something like a donut shape chart created, right? So it says responded. And now let's add a contact. Let's add an existing contact. It just doesn't have someone call. We had a potential customer earlier who became our client of, uh, from Germany so because Wilson Brewery deals with international clients so Frank Pub is one of our clients so Peter Miller uh, wanted to be part of this campaign um, so he responded and sent right so we see uh, two of the matter right so now we have a marketing sorry we have a campaign you can call it as a marketing campaign that's greatest start ever uh we got two members so we can add remember this you can only add leads and contacts as a member so you can't add other stuff here right that's one of the thing of the sales force um so now what happens is uh victor after tasting beer uh decided to be our client so what we're gonna do so we gonna go to uh, leads. Uh, so if you go here, um, sorry, um, let's go to leads here. Um, and and you can see that the, the Victor has a campaign history here. So. What Victor decides to do after tasting a beer that he decides to be part of our organization, he become part, decided to be our customer, which is great. Welcome, uh, Victor. So let's go and convert him to convert this lead. So, so when we convert this lead, 
uh, if you remember, I demonstrated this in my previous lecture that you get an option to choose an account. If you're an existing account, you can select here, uh, contact, or if you don't want it to be an opportunity, you can take this and it will only create both uh, account and contact. Uh, for now, we will keep as default. So we will decide to, we decided to create account, contact, and opportunity, right? Um, so we convert it. Right, so the lead is gone. Now, so if we go to campaign, so we will have, we don't have the leads anymore, so we have the contact associated with that, right? So we have, so if you go here, view all, and we can see that now we don't have uh, Victor as a lead, but instead it's a contact, right? So we have converted um, a contact, sorry, a lead to accounts, a contact and opportunities, so the leads get converted to contacts. So now we have a campaign member, two contacts, right? It's pretty straightforward. Okay, now what we're gonna do, uh, I find one thing very annoying, we don't have um, a path here, like for instance, if you, if you look at leads, right? Um, you see that I have the path settings here, right? I mean, which is um, very handy and, and it gives me a clear uh, indication when I look at the screen where we at, right? Uh, I wish to have the same for a campaign, um, so which is a standard object, right? So let's dive in and create a path for this guy, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rely on the status pick list to create a path, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into um, setup, which is uh, you can go by going to this uh, gear cog icon in the top right hand corner. Um, so go to setup, and uh, so we're gonna go to path, um, right? And we're gonna go to path settings here, and. Uh, yes. Just taking a while. Uh, depending upon your connections, uh, for some reason my internet has been slower this morning. I, I don't know why, because everyone is staying at home, so probably the the you know it's just yeah everyone is using internet. Apparently, it's just so uh, yeah whatever. So I uh, got a new path. So um, and so let's call it as uh, camp. Oh, no, stout. No, no, sorry, this is marketing. Okay. Um, due marketing part. Of, sorry, it kind of froze, which is strange. And I choose, okay. And we haven't created any record type, right? So uh, let's not bother with the record type for now because uh, I haven't created a record type. Well, I just wanted to keep it simple, so we're gonna go next. Uh, I'm not adding any fields here, so just keep it very simple. Um, if you don't know how to create, uh, if you if you wanted to know detail uh, information around path, uh, please look at my previous lecture. I've covered uh, in a little bit uh, in with more detail, uh, explaining the fields and the purpose of it. So you'll get to know. And uh, in my previous lecture, I covered about uh, I mentioned how to create a path for a custom object. Right now we're dealing with the standard object, right? So so I activate this path here. Um, so I click finish and uh, right. So we go to go back to, so the path has been activated. Um, so we go here and we are gonna refresh the screen and you will see that we still can't see any path here, right? So that's because we have to add it using our lightning builder. So the way you do that is by going to this uh, icon again, uh, GearCog icon, uh, and you go to edit page. And there is a little uh, path here. So I'll just take this off, right? Uh, I just had a path here and I save 
and activate. Save again. The assign as a default org. Next. I'm 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 sticking to the, the default options here, right? Um okay, so that's done. So let's go back to campaign again and let's see if we got a part there or not. There you are. That's handy, right? I mean it's nice. I mean I can see the status. I mean I'm a visual person, right? I, I, I find it very easy to um to identify where my campaign st stage is at now because otherwise I have to go to details and look at it or sometimes you can look at a status but but you know but the when something is sticking right in front of your face it makes a big difference right right so that's that's the um, main use of path I find it very easy to use so and I find it very rewarding to have a path on an object so yeah that's that's my preference okay sorry I digress Okay, now we uh, talked about a campaign hierarchy, right? So we go here. So we see we got none under that. Um, so what we're going to do, so we go to details. So we're going to, uh, there is somewhere parent campaign. Um, so we can't add ourselves as a parent, right? It will, it will throw an error. So we see if you have anything. Um, so we click on new. I don't know what the. Let's see what campaign to add here. Okay, leave this page for now, and let's say all active campaign. Um, I just wanted to add this one to see if I can add this campaign boy to the as a parent of this one. Uh, just to demonstrate how the hierarchy looks like. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to details. Sorry, I just I selected everything. Um, go to parent campaign. And I just add here. All right. And I save. All right, now you might expect, okay, I will be able to see um, uh, the campaign under here, right? No, you can't because you can only see if you go to the parent so this is not a parent so the so way it works so let's go to campaign and let's go to um uh this one and now you go to campaign hierarchy you see here because um you see this is a parent and greatest start ever as a child so that's how uh the hierarchy work you know uh, so, for instance, that uh, you can have multiple uh, campaign, right? Child, like the main campaign is the greatest star ever, and and the child ones like uh, uh, marketing in a in a in a LinkedIn, marketing on a on a Twitter. So different different campaigns, childs, right? So you can have greatest star ever as your parent campaign, and underneath you can have uh, marketing uh, on LinkedIn, marketing on uh, Twitter. Um, on, on, on YouTube, uh, whatever, so, you know, all these things, you, you get my point, what I'm trying to say, so, uh, this, the subcategories that you can, and all can link to, to this greatest out ever, uh, as the, you know, as a parent campaign, so, that's the idea behind it, um, and so, yeah, so, this is what I wanted to cover today about the campaigns, a very handy feature, uh, used mostly by marketing and sales team, um, if you are a developer, um, yeah, it's good to know, but um, yeah, uh, it's not really uh, necessary for you to know in, in detail about campaigns, but yeah, if, if you know the concept, it's pretty good. So um, yeah, so that's all I wanted to cover. I hope you uh, guys enjoyed this session. Um, so next time we're going to dig more into um, sales and marketing. So that's one of the biggest area. Um, uh, we're going to talk about case and um, case management and knowledge uh, base and kind of stuff, right? So that will be uh, the next topic. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. So I hope you have an amazing uh, Sunday. Take care.